In this lesson, we're going to be going over how you can debug your code in case you encounter errors that you've never seen before. And this is going to often be the case when you are programming by yourself, because of course there are lots of errors out there, such as this one over here that says syntax error. If it's the first time you see something like this, you might be confused, but there are many ways to fix this and many ways to learn what these errors mean. I myself don't know what half of the errors mean, but I know how to search for the solutions. And that's exactly what I want to go over in this video is how to handle any error that you encounter when creating programs. So right now let's go ahead and run this sample program. And just to explain it a bit, I created two functions. One says do something that prints a string that says I'm doing something. And the second function just adds two numbers together and then prints the result. Then I went ahead and called do something twice and add numbers once. So of course, when we run this, we're going to get two print statements and a result. So the program is working great. But what happens if instead of adding two numbers, we add something such as 10 plus hello, then we're going to end up with an error. And it's going to be a lot of red the first time you look at this. So you're going to probably get overwhelmed and just freak out at what happened. And the first thing you should do is take this slowly, read it one line at a time. You'll see that the red usually starts around here. It's going to say at line 15, we had encountered the error. That's where we made the call. And then at line nine is where everything went wrong as well. As you can see, we have a print statement. So now we know where the error is happening and then it's going to tell us what happened there. So here we have something called a type error. And many times it's going to be easy to understand such as unsupported operand types such as int and string. That essentially means you cannot concatenate these two together without converting them. Either you have to convert the string to an int or the int to a string. But this was a fairly simple example. Sometimes it gets much more complex than this. And the only solution usually for that is to go ahead and copy the error that you find at the bottom and go to Google and just paste it inside there. And at this point here, it actually requires a bit of research. Usually you're going to find out that Stack Overflow is your best friend because the chances are that your error is not the first one. And as you can see right here, on the 7th of December, 2013, someone encountered this error around eight years ago. So a lot of time has passed since that error. And here you can kind of read the error this person has encountered and you can learn from them. So right now this person says when they run the program, they encounter this error, which is an unsupported operand type such as int and string. And you can see we have that exact error right here. So then we scroll down and there are some answers. And usually the most popular ones are going to have a lot of likes and they are very helpful because right now we can read the first sentence that says, you're trying to concatenate a string and an integer, which is incorrect. And on top of stating what the problem is, they also usually provide solutions, such as telling you to explicitly convert an int to a string and then giving you also a few options of how to do it. So now we can go back here and we can do something such as convert this int to a string because that is what it told us to do. And now, as you can see, we can add these two numbers because now we are concatenating strings and not integers with strings. But something else that can easily go wrong is that we forget to add the comma and we're going to get another error. This time it's a bit more simple. It is a syntax error which just translates to that you're not typing the code in an appropriate fashion. Of course, we need to add a comma here because that's how the compiler understands the program. So all we have to do here is add the comma and restart the program and it will work fine. Syntax error can also be caused by doing something such as that. Instead of writing definition, we have DE and Python doesn't really understand what that means. So it's going to throw a syntax error. And as always, in case you're confused of what an error means, just go to Google and paste it in the search bar and you're going to get a lot of results such as how do you fix a syntax error? And of course you want to be as specific as possible. So include the language Python and how you encountered it. And then you can try to find the best result. So this person states that they have invalid syntax for no apparent reason. Then you can go ahead and try to understand from others problems how your problem relates. And that's often how you learn the most 
from programming. The secret to programming is encountering as many errors as possible because once you know how to handle all of these errors, you will program incredibly fast and efficiently. And it's also some of the most time consuming parts trying to find the error and how to fix it. So it's all part of the process. But that just about covers how you should handle errors in Python. Remember to always use Google if you have something that you do not understand. Every single problem you can possibly think of has already been posted on Google. It's almost guaranteed, especially if you start at a beginner level, you will most certainly find the answer to the issue that you've been encountering in your program.